nothing. And I have a beautiful place for my tent. With an astonishing view, if you can see. And a cup of coffee. The plan for today is I originally had the idea to walk the uh, Trolltunga hike, but I'm not going to do that because it's 27 kilometers back and forth in total, and uh, that uh, took an all day long, which is a little bit too much for me, so I'm not going to do that. Instead, I have an uh, prepared a route around uh, the surroundings here in the area and uh, I'm going to do that uh, then I have also a little bit more time to relax and find a cooking pot because yesterday evening I did something wrong with my cooking pot it broke down so I had to throw it away and now I need to find uh, another one in the village here, there is uh, some kind of a supermarket, sort of. So uh, I hope to find another cooking pot over there because, well, I have a little pan which I boiled the water in for this cup of coffee, but that's not very handy. So I want to have a uh, cooking pot which uh, gives me some uh, more possibilities to cook uh, to cook something, and that's uh, one of the things I'm going to do now. But first, look at the spot. Nice, right? Really nice place. little disadvantage is that uh, electricity. I don't have electricity in the tent. So there is an area there with uh, lots of uh, plugs where you can put your, your own thing in and to load up your batteries, but everybody is doing that for their, their own mobile phones. So the, the plugs are mostly occupied. Well, details, just details. Looking for a pan to boil water in. I asked uh, Google and Google helped me out, but I walked three, four times around and around and I couldn't find it. And then asked a nice lady after somewhere here, she said, well, it's inside that building over there, the Kubus thing, some, some kind of a shopping center with only clothing outside. So I thought, well, that could not be the kind of shop I'm looking for, but in fact, it is. So I went in, asked a very nice lady, showed Google Maps what uh, the idea is, used Google Translate too, and then the lady said, well, you have to cr cross the water and there, you find a kind of a shop that should have it. Great. So I'm now I'm going to there. And I'm doing 30 kilometers an hour because I already saw a police car presenting tickets to whatever. A guy who was probably speeding for two kilometers an hour or something, which is ridiculous. Okay, let's do it following the rules 30 kilometers an hour if I do 30 kilometers an hour on this bike I fell over okay now I need to find a way to get in I can do that here but that should not be the case should be possible to turn around it difficult oh there the Garmin also showed me something here. Let's go in. 30 kilometers an hour. 
But that's really slow on a bike like this. What's saying over there? I cannot enter it. Motorbikes are not allowed. Oh, no, that's for that little lane here. Okay, now I need to find out a way to get below again. Yeah, there it is, but man, oh man, oh man, well, these people make it difficult. So this should not be it. Because looking at Google, at the Garmin, it only went up a little bit further. And I need to go down. It's kind of a challenge, finding a pen to cook boil, to cook water. Having said that, the view is fantastic. Look at that. Really beautiful. So, let's go back. Now I'm, yeah, right. I'm now already doing 33, which is too fast. If I go a little bit slower again, then I probably fell over. Okay, uh, I think I need to go that fuel pump. Let's do that. Okay, Olda, 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 Europris, there, Europris. Oh, what well, is this? Well, let's put the thing here because I don't want to just drive around constantly. Great. Now, next round. Right, I do have something. Inside that other shop, indeed, there was all kinds of uh, stuff. And also camping gear, and they had something special for camping purpose. A pen, and other stuff too, because it was a complete set of four or five items. I don't only, I only want to need I only want to have the pen, but that was not possible, so I have now a complete set which is also not foldable. So that will become a little bit of a challenge, because then I have to uh, look away to, to fill it up with other stuff, otherwise it doesn't fit in uh, the suitcase. A nice lady over there explained everything to me. It's a toll road. Conti Euros. I'm not going to do the hike. But the lady told me you can go up at the motorbike on this road. It's a private road, a toll road. But she said it's very beautiful up there. We go up. I explained I'm not going to do the hike, but I just want to look around. Well, fashion, that's no problem. There are two uh, parking lots above the one at the top not sure if i can reach that one but the lady said it's beautiful so let's go and do that and indeed the scenery is fantastic <laughs>
could be that it's also a P3, P3 higher up. I'm not sure if I can reach that one. But still, the view is uh, beautiful. Hey, okay, automat. Okay. Shuffle. 